All these, this corruption that's coming out is kind of just the tip of the iceberg, really. And we've got a lot more to go through. Incidents happen, and the timing of them, I find suspicious at best. You're being criticized if you say that this is, there's a different agenda. So you talk about timing, Richard. This comes right after Trump shut off funding to the WHO. April 25th and October 4th, <coughs> We have huge aspects coming forward regarding personal rights and justice being served. Since 2013, we have been given messages from the spirit world through psychic communication, dreams, and personal experiences, which have been validated through numerous paranormal sessions. My brother Jonathan and a group known as the Council of Twelve have given us predictions, guidance, and information surrounding everything from UFOlogy, spirituality, to politics, and ancient history, all of which we have investigated to the best of our ability. Throughout this quest, your contribution has been vital to our work. So if you find this video useful, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, join the conversation in the comment section below. You are the ones that help us along this journey. We are so grateful for everything you have given us. So join us on our quest into the cutting edge of research and welcome to the Paranormal Now Investigations. Codes. In the modern world we are surrounded by codes daily through our computers, smartphones and other technologies. Yet codes and symbols have been synonymous with human history Astrology, numerology, divination, tarot and other such disciplines have been part of human culture for centuries, possibly giving us insight into where we are personally and globally in our evolution. Jesse Ann Nichols George is a code interpreter and works with amalgamation of these disciplines that she has used to offer insight into our current global awakening and the times we now face on planet Earth. Jesse came into contact with these codes which form a language to her after a series of intense transformative experiences culminating in her experiencing a walk-in. A walk-in is where one soul leaves the body and another soul comes in, normally from the same soul group. Jessie now goes by the name of Anne and details her walk-in and other personal insights along with a day-by-day -day breakdown of the codes for each day of 2020 in her yearly book, The Code Journey. We asked Anne about her insights of everything that's happened in the world right now. This is what she had to say. It's difficult at the moment, I think, for anybody to look at any platform where information is coming to us and actually form a true and uh, you know resolute opinion of the situation at hand is going to be nigh on impossible you're going to be criticized if you think differently you're being criticized if you say that this is there's a different agenda if you go along with the steeple then you, you, you sort of criticize there from other parties incidents happen and the timing of them, I find suspicious at best. I think, I think for myself, I'm finding it hard to believe anything at the minute that I'm seeing on any alternative. I'm finding it hard to just believe anything. In the codes um, on this year, it shows that there's a taste of what is to come. Now, this is a really an interesting piece, right? A taste of what is to come, which means we're just opening up. What we're seeing right now, all this exposure stuff, is all these this corruption that's coming out is kind of just the tip of the iceberg, really. And we've got a lot more to go through. It talks about in the codes, major, sh major transformation and shifts this year. Creates upheaval, rebellion from those wanting to keep power, um, one of the big players in all of this particular situation we're talking about today is Soros, and he's one of the last big sources of power that's coming down right now. 
and a lot of this will be coming out more. He has connections with Gates and the Who. So you talk about timing, Richard. This comes right after Trump shut off funding to the Who. Okay, um, and he's been working on removing money from the central bank system, getting um, th- that dissolved, and he's um, and Soros is also very very angry at these collapsing power structures. All of his financial pieces are starting to collapse on him. So this is where some of that's coming from. Yeah. Must learn to come together. This is one of our big lessons right now. We've got to learn to come together, especially where there are ruthless plays for power. And we need to start embracing our differences. The codes warn of this over and over again. And I think situations like this, and as you hear the codes more directly related to George Floyd, that you're going to find that this, why this death became such a headliner in many ways, because there's a lot more to it that is involved in bigger soul processes. Um, learning what type of future we are creating and where we need to change directions. So a lot of people have just been going along with whatever has been in place, whatever the governments have been doing or anything else like that. And they haven't really been paying attention to what is getting created in those processes. And now it's starting to come out. Now it's starting to open up and show people, look, this is what's happening. This is what we're creating. And we need to start rethinking this. We need to start rethinking this whole division thing, this whole separation thing, and we need to come back around and get together on things. The coach talk about facing the truth, getting real, standing in truth and purity. These are all huge pieces playing into this. They talk about working together and that we're going to change the world by how we live. That's going to be the most important thing. Illusions being broken, lies, deception, manipulation. This incident is massive with them. Massive. Choosing freedom, uprisings, rebellion, revolution. So where freedom is squashed and there's unethical treatment, we're going to see these uprisings. What is not based in wisdom is going to crash in this process. Ending oppression is another big thing. This is another reason why this is coming out. We'll also talk more about those connections of why they're using uh, the racism issue right now in this situation. And people are fed up with these games. You know, they're, they're fed up with oppression. They're fed up with all of these different components. They're fed up with the division. And we're starting to see it through this incident uh, where these groups have gotten away with things before. They've existed for a long time, the ones that are perpetuating the violence and that, that aspect and things. But we've never seen it on this scale because it's never been put into the media like this before. And that, of course, has its own connections. Now, specifically mm. between April 25th and October 4th <coughs> in this year's patterns, we have aspects of needing to look at what we're supporting. We have huge aspects coming forward regarding personal rights and justice being served. So when I look at this, these are pieces where sometimes we have to be exposed to the crimes that are actually committed before we can get justice served. Because a lot of people are walking around absolutely blind to these things happening every day. I think it was you, Richard, that mentioned that, that every day you could walk into a big city like New York, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Tokyo, or wherever, these places, and there are dozens of these crimes happening every single day, and none of them hit the news. We have also a need to have to fight or defend ourselves and to watch out for those that want to be better than others. Resistance by those that don't want to change. We have in the codes need to take care of each other. We have lots of chaos and upheaval breaking up the good old boys network. So a lot of this chaos and upheaval is a natural part of the rebuilding and the restructuring energy of this year. We have a lot of aspects of misuse of power that equal upheavals. And in the end, even though we have this tyrancy going on in a lot of aspects, this is going to bring an end to the tyrant behavior. And we're, we're seeing that through this incident. Uh, 
And then March 23rd through July 2nd, so a very active part that we're in also right now. Again, it comes back to the aspect of a taste of what is coming. So that means, you know, now we got people that jump in and they have all these different perspectives. Well, this means that we're going to have militia forever and a day or these, you know, these different things. But actually, I think it's far bigger than that. I think it's not that we're going to have militia every day. I think, you know, there's, there's certain rulers that might want to go in that direction. I think if we were under different rulership than we are right now in our country, it would definitely go in that direction. There's certainly people that are trying to push that perspective. But what it's showing us really is that we are under radical change, period. And giving us a taste of what's coming means that we are going to be restructuring the rights. We are going to be restructuring these departments that have been corrupt. We are going to change the corruption out of the system. And can you ever 100% get it out of the system? No way. But we can get it to a point where it's manageable. We can get it to a point where it is not out of hand like it has been. As somebody said to me, well, this stuff has been going on for the last 50, 60 you know, years. It's like, yeah, because that's how active this particular corruption grouping yeah. has been, you know, because the, it's been that long since we've had anybody that was willing to stand up to this network of, of people, if you want to say that. So I'll take a break there. <laughs> but I think that that's an mm -hmm. interesting overview of what the codes are talking about. And for those that don't know the codes, as a Magi, that's my language of being able to take what is happening in the world, to take things through names and numbers and addresses and events and letters, and they translate into my own language and I bring them back out into a book called The Code Journey, which is a daily guidebook to help people understand the currents of what's happening on a day-to-day -day basis, to understand the currents of what we're dealing with from year to year, and to be able to hopefully through that love a little more wisely, <laughs> a little more compassionately with each other and to, you know, realize, okay, this is a natural part of the influences right now, but we're going to have to, it's up to us what direction we're it's going to go. I mean, it's, 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 you know, it's up to us what we do with what's happening and are we going to use it for peaceful protest, for speaking our opinion, for making people aware, or are we going to go to, down these violent paths?